you tonight have a dream. A dream. A goal. A vision. Something that you're working toward. An accomplishment that you would like to achieve. Awesome! I have never been in a room with so many Walt Disney's before. But if you know what to look for, if you know what to pay attention to, if we stop and listen to the park, Disneyland can actually show us how to achieve our dreams. Next time you're in Disneyland, go to your favorite attraction, but take just a moment, step into the Opera House, look at Walt's bench, think about your dream, your goal, your vision, how the park can inspire you to make your dreams come true. It's awesome that you're willing to step up and be your own hero. Uh, we love great stories. It's why we read books. It's why we go to the movies. I believe it's why we keep going to Disneyland again and again and again. And again. No one got it. Even his own wife and his own brother said to him, Walt, why in the world do you want an amusement park? Your dream rests in the details of your imagination. And I can't wait to read the book. And I can't wait to hear him talk again. I loved his enthusiasm. I was really impressed how he took such the details of Disneyland and then he applied it to us, inspiring us to pull through with our dreams just as Walt did. So. I think Jeff did a great job of just emphasizing the importance of really visualizing what the future can be. 